At the very moment when the big names in technology were trying to hide their missteps, Elon Musk decided to turn the tables with an announcement that caught everyone by surprise. In 2026, the smartphone market suffered a shock that few expected. The failure of the iPhone Air and the collapse of four Chinese giants in the ultra-thin cell phone sector exposed a silent crisis. The obsession with increasingly thinner devices ended up revealing their weaknesses. Batteries that barely last half a day, fragile casings, and an absurd price for an empty aesthetic. In the wake of this decline, the scenario seemed ripe for something new. And that's exactly when the Tesla Pi phone appeared, uninvited. The curious thing is that while Apple was trying to push a $1,399 iPhone with only one camera and a paltry battery, Musk came up with a radically opposite proposal, a phone that would cost almost half the price, but with twice the features and unprecedented battery life. The market, already suspicious of overpriced flagship phones, began to pay attention. The Tesla Pi phone arrived with force, costing only $789 and promising breathtaking durability. But the price, however attractive, wasn't what really caught attention. It was the whole package. The kind of device that promises not only to look good, but to truly deliver everything that others have left out. Unexpectedly, the launch shook the confidence of brands that were previously unquestionable. Samsung, which had been betting heavily on the ultra-thin Galaxy S25 Edge, felt the impact when the first images of the Pi phone leaked directly from the Tesla factory in Texas. It was evident that this was not just a new model, but a new proposition for personal technology. The specifications were aggressive, but what made the public salivate was the idea of having something made to last, not just to impress. Finally, a smartphone with purpose, and not just looks. Meanwhile, social media was flooded with comparisons between the iPhone 17 and the Pi phone. And it wasn't hard to understand why. On one hand, a device that barely lasts a day without recharging. On the other, a phone with a week-long battery, free satellite internet, and a titanium body. The comparison bordered on the ridiculous. Influencers began testing the prototypes and confirmed. The performance was fluid, the screen vibrant, and the experience different. For the first time in years, the public was excited about a launch not because of the marketing, but because of what the product actually delivered. What was most interesting was the philosophy behind the project. Elon Musk seemed to want to not just launch a new product, he wanted to fix what everyone else had gotten wrong. The Pi phone was born from a long-standing frustration, seeing Americans paying over $2,000 for cell phones that froze, broke, and required monthly maintenance. The proposition was simple, almost audacious, to offer a phone that was good enough to last for years without needing forced upgrades a phone that worked well both in the city and in the middle of the desert. That didn't need a charger in your pocket or available Wi-Fi. Another surprising point was the distribution method. Tesla announced that the device would be available in all its stores starting in March 2026. But the real shock came with the revelation that, in addition to the affordable price, the phone would come with lifetime access to Starlink, Tesla's own satellite internet. In practice, this meant a radical reduction in dependence on major carriers. And as if that weren't enough, Musk also let slip that the initial production would be 500,000 units. A bold number for a debut, but one that showed complete confidence in the project. The impact was so great that experts began to wonder if this would be the definitive turning point in Apple's dominance. For the first time, the iPhone seemed outdated not because of the cameras or the system, but because of what it didn't offer, and the public noticed. The reaction was immediate. An increase in pre-orders, a drop in iPhone sales, and an avalanche of social media content comparing the two worlds. The idea of paying a high price for something limited seemed increasingly outdated. The Tesla Pi phone was addressing something deeper than hardware, 
It was redefining what the public expects from a smartphone in 2026. If there was one moment in 2026 that made the tech market pause for breath, it was when Tesla revealed the details of its silicon battery. Until then, nobody took the idea of a cell phone lasting a week on a single charge very seriously. It seemed like science fiction. But the Tesla Pi phone not only promised, it delivered. Equipped with a 7200 Maituame silicon-based battery, the device became a landmark. Suddenly, charging your phone overnight became optional. And more than that, charging your phone became a rare, almost nostalgic event. The comparison to the iPhone 17 and the Galaxy S23 Ultra became a running joke among enthusiasts. While those two devices had 5,000 on mAh and 5,100 mAh major batteries, respectively, the Pi phone went far beyond that. And it wasn't just in terms of raw capacity. The key was the energy density of the silicon. Unlike traditional lithium, Silicon allows for much greater energy storage without increasing weight or generating excessive heat. This means the phone can withstand long gaming marathons, video calls, 4K video editing, all without overheating like an electric kettle. Another standout feature was the intelligent charging mode. No more waiting two hours with your phone plugged in. The Tesla Pi phone can go from 10% to 85% in just 15 minutes. That would be impressive on its own. But the craziest thing is that this fast charging doesn't damage the battery, something many Android phones haven't yet managed to solve. Tesla applied the same know-how it uses in electric cars, managing temperature, optimizing energy flow, and avoiding cycles that degrade battery life. And this is where things start to look even smarter. This intelligent power management allows the phone itself to learn the user's habits. If you tend to use more apps at night, it adjusts consumption during the day. If you switch to airplane mode every morning to meditate, it automatically reduces background processes. It's as if the Pi phone were a personal energy assistant, always trying to preserve as much charge as possible with as little effort as possible. This integration between software and hardware is the kind of thing you normally only see in high-end cars. And now, in a cell phone, it changes everything. And speaking of changing everything, what about the battery's durability? One of the most common complaints among iPhone and Galaxy users is the loss of capacity over time. After two years, many phones are already lasting half as long as they did at the beginning. With the Pi phone, this is practically non-existent. Battery degradation is minimal, even after hundreds of cycles. Musk made it clear that the idea was to deliver a device to last five years, at least. No forced annual replacements. No feeling that your device has become slow just because the new model was released. But perhaps the most surprising point is the psychological impact. When you know your phone will last seven days, you stop living your life dependent on power outlets. The freedom this brings is real. You can travel, work, get lost in the woods, or spend the whole weekend away from home and still be connected. This energy freedom has redefined people's relationship with their devices. It's no exaggeration to say that the Pi phone with this battery has changed the routine of those who use it. It's not just about lasting longer. It's about not having to worry anymore. When Elon Musk announced that the Tesla Pi phone would come with lifetime internet access via Starlink, many people thought it was an exaggeration. After all, what did that mean in practice? But it only took Tesla explaining the system for the market to understand that it wasn't just a technological perk. It was a decisive blow against the carriers. By simply buying the phone directly from a Tesla store, the user would have free internet forever. And it wasn't limited internet with capped speeds or only for messaging. It was real satellite broadband anywhere on the planet. What's most impressive is that this strategy seems straight out of a science fiction movie. Imagine having high-speed internet working equally well in New York, the Arizona desert, or an isolated farm in the Brazilian countryside. 
With the Pi phone, this has become a reality. The connection doesn't depend on cell towers or fiber optic cables. It comes directly from Starlink satellites, which cover the entire globe with a low Earth orbit network. This results in low latency and surprisingly high speeds, even in remote areas. But the real impact isn't just in coverage, it's in families' wallets. In 2026, the average cost of a mobile internet plan in the United States will be between $70 and $100 per person. Put that across a family of four, and that's over $2,000 a year, just on connectivity. By offering Starlink included in the device's price, Tesla saves up to $1,500 annually per user. That alone would make the Pi phone an investment that pays for itself in a few months. And yet, some people still say it's not worth it. Another surprising aspect was the robustness of the integration. The Pi phone automatically switches between local networks and Starlink, ensuring the user always has the best available signal without interruptions, annoying warnings, or error screens. If your home Wi-Fi goes down, the phone instantly switches to the satellite connection as a backup plan. This eliminates the need for backup plans, extra rotors, travel SIM cards, and even that old emergency data plan. It's a new standard of digital peace of mind. This proposal also hits the mark perfectly for digital nomads, remote workers, and those living in areas with poor connectivity. Suddenly, editing videos, participating in video meetings, playing online games, or managing an entire company becomes possible from the middle of nowhere. And all this with the confidence that you won't be left stranded when you need it most. Starlink's promise has always been bold, but Tesla found in the Pi phone the perfect vehicle to make this accessible, literally, to anyone. And there's more. In rural areas with low cell tower density, Tesla offers activation bonuses that include $50 to $100 off the device or 6 to 12 months of premium Starlink service at no cost. In other words, the user not only stops paying for internet, but also gains financial advantages at the time of purchase. It's as if the phone itself comes with the first year of bills already paid. Compared to what traditional carriers offer, it almost seems like a trick, but it's not. It's just Musk playing chess while the others are still learning checkers. Few details are as eye-catching at first glance as the body of the Tesla Pi phone. And it's not just aesthetics. Tesla decided to use Grade 6 Titanium, a material more resistant than the Grade 5 used by Apple. And that makes a real difference. Grade 6 Titanium isn't just beautiful. It's practically war-proof. It's the type of material used in the aerospace industry, in jet engines, and even in medical implants. By bringing this to a smartphone, Tesla put an end to the fragility that has always been a hallmark of ultra-thin cell phones. The design is what many would call clean and imposing, at only zero. 20 inches thick, the Pi phone defies logic. How can something so thin be so resistant? The answer lies in the applied engineering. Instead of focusing solely on appearance, as many brands do, Tesla prioritized structure, stability, and durability. The result is a device you can put in your pocket along with keys, coins, even screws. And it comes out intact. No scratches, chips, or deformations. It really holds up. And we're not just talking about the casing. The screen was also designed to be stress-resistant. With ultra-thin bezels and high-strength glass, the display occupies almost the entire front of the device, providing an immersive visual experience. Whether watching movies, playing games, or just browsing social media, it feels like holding a floating panel of pure image. It's the kind of design that catches the eye from afar and elicits comments like, what phone is that? even without showing the Tesla logo. The balance between form and function is what impresses most. While the iPhone Air sacrificed everything to be thin, including battery, sound, and even the camera, the Pi phone did the opposite. It managed to be thin without sacrificing anything. Unlike Apple's device, 
which has only one speaker and a limited camera, the Tesla Pi phone comes complete. The audio is true stereo, with well-defined bass and high volume. The main camera has multiple lenses, including a high-performance ultra-wide. It's a complete package, but one that fits in your pocket without adding bulk. Another interesting point is the feel to the touch. The titanium gives the device a subtle weight, not heavy, but firm. That feeling that you're holding something expensive, well-built, that inspires confidence. No plastic disguised as metal or aluminum that bends with a fall. The Pi phone has a physical presence, and that translates into security in use. It's not the kind of phone you pick up carefully so as not to break it. It's one you hold firmly, without fear of dropping it. And if it happens to fall, impact resistance is another advantage. In laboratory tests conducted by YouTubers and experts, the Pi phone survived falls that left other flagships in pieces. The titanium absorbs impact efficiently, and the interlocking of the parts prevents the structure from falling apart. This makes the device ideal not only for everyday use, but also for people who work in more demanding environments, such as technicians, engineers, or adventurers who live with their cell phones in hand, in the countryside, on trails, or on hot asphalt. While the world grew accustomed to disposable luxury, Elon Musk decided to turn the logic on its head. With the Tesla Pi phone, he didn't just want to compete with Apple or Samsung. He wanted to include those who had always been left out. In 2026, the bombshell dropped. Tesla announced that 500,000 Pi phone units would be produced by the end of 2027, with 300,000 being given away for free to seniors, war veterans, and low-income families. Instead of targeting only tech lovers and enthusiasts, Musk targeted an audience forgotten by the major carriers. The strategy is bold, but incredibly well thought out. The United States still has millions of people living in rural areas with little or no internet coverage, not to mention those who can barely afford their monthly bills, let alone a state-of-the-art smartphone. Tesla's plan combines subsidized hardware with free internet access via Starlink and a balanced usage policy, where the system limits excesses but ensures that no one is left without a connection. It's the kind of idea that, frankly, seemed impossible coming from a tech giant. The most interesting thing is that this social plan isn't charity. It's a strategic move to expand Starlink's user base and create a new generation directly connected to Tesla's ecosystem. Instead of relying on carriers and intermediaries, the Pi phone becomes the center of these people's digital experience. And the best part, with zero monthly fees. This completely transforms how low-income families deal with technology. What was once a heavy fixed expense now becomes a long-term investment. The initial focus is on four states, California, Texas, Florida, and New York. In these regions, Tesla has identified large pockets of communities suffering from poor connectivity and high energy costs, especially among elderly people living alone, veterans struggling with social reintegration, and entire families living in trailers or mobile homes. For these people, the Pi phone represents more than just a smartphone. It represents digital dignity, a means to study, work, stay informed, and even call for medical help in emergencies. This type of impact is profound. Imagine a veteran who previously depended on a public library to access the internet, now being able to talk to their family, access government services, and stay connected to the world with just a touch on their cell phone. Imagine a single mother in a rural area using the Pi phone to keep up with her children's classes or manage finances online without worrying about signal or bills at the end of the month. It's the kind of silent transformation that doesn't make headlines, but true.